Did you know tomorrow is World Card Making Day? It's a day Linda Yamamoto probably celebrates all year round. Thanks so much for coming in again because you always make such beautiful cards. Oh, thank you, and thanks for having me. Yes, World Card Making Day, it's one of those holidays that nobody ever knows about. Okay. And I think it's one of those made-up holidays, quite honestly. I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a good day to kit because this is a day when kind of crafters really kick off the, all the work that they do for Christmas time. Right. And even if you're not crafty usually, you tend to be crafty around Christmas time. There's something about the holidays we want to get in there and get our hands dirty and make okay. some fun stuff. And that's what we're going to do right now. Exactly. And cards are a great way to do some crafts. It's a small contained project. It's easily done. It's quickly done. And uh, anybody can do it. We try to make it as easy as possible. Okay. So we're going to start off. I'm just going to show you how simple a card can be. Okay. So you have some paper there yeah. too. And we're just going to fold it in half. So I've already pre-cut it. And you can use your fancy bone folder if you like to make a nice clean edge. I always feel like Martha Stewart when I'm doing this. You do. This. And you look like Martha Stewart. Too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so what you're going to do next is take the flower stamp over there. Okay, yeah. And I'm going to get you to actually stamp on here. And okay. this aside. And just stamp wherever? Yep. Okay. Towards one of the edges would be good. Okay. And then one right in the middle. Okay. And then what we're going to do is punch out the flower. I'm the just, one that's in the yep. middle? So I have a feeling we're just going to trim it in so you can see. And then you can use the punch upside down, okay. and you're going to punch out the flower. Okay, now I've <laughs> never actually done this. <laughs> it's really easy, really. You slide it in, oh, and you so line you it up. Oh, so you can actually see there. Yeah. Okay. And then you just give it a squeeze. And how am I, just right yep. here? Push hard. There you go. <gasps> I made a flower. There you go. And then this is your adhesive, so you're going to put a bit of adhesive on the back of the flower. Okay. Just a little bit. Then you're going to put it on the pink square. Right in the center then? Yep. Okay. And then you're going to put an adhesive on the back of the pink square. Oh, it's all about layering, right? Oh, it is. Okay. Uh, I bet this goes on here. Yes. <laughs> Any particular way? Does it matter? Nope. Okay. That's the nice thing about flowers. They don't have an up or a down. Well, these flowers don't. These ones don't. There you go. Okay. That is a card. That is how Done. quick and easy you can do it. So <laughs> you want to show off your project. There we go. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take it up a level. And this is a version that you can do. It's still a square card. Okay. But... It unfolds a little bit oh, differently. This is where it gets really fancy. So okay. what I'm going to do is get you to stamp the flower on the edges of that paper there. Okay. And I'm going to show everybody how we did this. Now, this paper is already pre-scored. So yes. is, is there a side that you want me to stamp and a um, side you don't? No. I don't Does think so. I think okay. we'll fake it. <laughs> All right. We'll find out. What I will do is score the cardstock. So I've got a piece of cardstock that's three inches by nine inches. And I'm going to score it. I have my fancy score tool. I'm going to score it in thirds. So at three... And at six, and then I have a fancy diagonal board, and what I'm going to do is score diagonally. And I'm going to score from the one square, and then the other square. So you've done all your stamping. So this is this is the, the paper okay. that you got. I'm glad that you pre-scored mine. Then. Yes, <laughs> no problem. <laughs> so what we're going to do is fold the card in on the score. So it's folded in thirds, okay. like so. And d am I folding yep. it in, okay, like that? And then you're going to fold along these ones. Does that make sense? You're going to fold yep. back on your diagonals. Yep. Okay, and next I'm going to just clean off your stamp really quickly for you. With my stamp cleaner. With my stamp cleaner. This Wash is so that dry. you can use another yes. color, right? Exactly. So you don't muddy up your colors. Okay. And then I'm going to get you to stamp this on that piece of paper. This and you're going to punch here? it out. Yep, and you're okay. going to punch it out again. Oh, okay. Okay, and then you're going to use the punch since you're an expert. Now I'm an expert in it. And punch it out. So, okay. <laughs> Where did it go? <laughs> Goes in this way? Yep. Okay, and you offer up. classes in this. You I know do. What? I think this might need to be trimmed. We'll trim it down. And the nice thing about coming to a class is if you're afraid of stamping or if you're afraid of crafting, um, I make it as easy as possible. I cut everything. I show you how to do it. I walk you through the steps. And actually, I've, I've been to a, a, a stamping class before, and I couldn't believe how relaxing it was. Yeah, it's fun. It's just fun, crafty thing so to do. So you can stamp your words in the middle of the card. In the middle? Oh, <laughs> I really. That's fine. It's a, okay, a little bit darker I'm, color. I'm doing it in a darker yeah. color, right? Yeah. Okay. So just in the middle yeah. there. And I always say, if you make a handmade card and you give it to someone and they critique it, then they don't deserve it. 
<laughs> Note to self, never yeah. make a handmade yeah. curly yeah. handman to that person. No, right? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and then you're going to put a little bit of adhesive right here. Okay. Just here. Just just yep. there? Just okay. a little strip. Good. All right. And then you're going to stick your flower on. So is it, okay? Yeah. And then we're going to stick it on a blue piece because you get to be different. I'm going to be different. Okay. So this is, yep. can I just... Ta -da. Ta -da. Wow, I'm like a little card factory today. Yes, you are. <laughs> so that's how easy it is. So and it's so it's just a little oh. bit different. So this is, this is how you can make a card a little bit more interesting. And to buy something like this would be a fortune, right? Yes. 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 And handmade oh, and cute. the cost escalates. Yes. So I'm going to show you another neat you thing. You know what? They're oh. telling me we've run out of time. Is that true? We've run out of time? <laughs> we have run out of time. Okay. Linda, okay, so. Check my blog. Yes. <laughs> and we'll get Linda's uh, website up. Is it Yamstamp? Yamstamps.com. Okay. And again, World Card Making Day tomorrow. See, the time has flown. We've had so much fun. Thank you so much. We're back with um, right after this break with Lori.